Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and um, I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have uh, shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism and uh, two, I like to cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And then my third one is talking about um, what's going on with autism in the media and then I like to give my two cents on the matter from my own perspective and so tonight I would like to share an experience based on what it's like for me to uh, live with autism and um, also be quote labeled as disabled and um, I you know wanted to let you guys know once again that I have been looking for a second part-time job and then um, I have uh, been um, in school studying for um, two big real estate exams because I uh, was able to break through another barrier and uh, meet a couple of guys that were accepting enough uh, to realize that oh she's autistic but she's also very smart and she appears that she'd be a great real estate agent so I have been working on that. Um, I also have struggled to find a second part-time job and um, as we know the economy here in the United States is just not doing too well and um, People like me are looking for work and everything. Um, well, earlier tonight, I was talking to two women in my neighborhood. One of them has a son with um, a pervasive developmental delay, or PDD, uh, NOS, or none other, none other way specified. And um, I was talking to her, and I was talking to um, another friend of mine. We were outside, and I was talking about I had a job interview with. Um, LA Fitness last week and uh, just doing regular janitorial work and of course uh, she was already interviewing five other people and um, as I was going to continue the conversation and um, this woman with the son with autism decided to uh, make a comment that well um, I need to get a job coach well uh, on one you know, on one hand I think the job coach is fine because they can be a network connection but um, you know, it's very, very hard to find the right job coach uh, who will help you succeed. A lot of job coaches just don't seem to care. They seem to, oh, I don't know, they want to put you in a job so that they can get paid. And uh, again, it's not about you. It's about them doing a job and collecting their paycheck at the end of the day. It's not about us um, uh, going up the success scale. It seems to be all about them. And um, another reason why I don't want a job coach is because um, I had a job coach for eight years um, at uh, that warehouse I'd worked at where um, I had such trouble with the boss and um, the people in the office on top. Because again, they were bullies to me and um, there was one guy that put that kick me sign on my back and then she too had a son with severe autism but I didn't really feel like she understood me. But anyway, I had two job coaches there and um, one of them was just plain lazy. I mean, I would tell her and tell her and tell her that uh, they were picking on me and um, her excuse was that they were just kidding. And I told her I wanted to find a different job a lot closer and I wanted to um, do something within um, the field of psychology and she constantly kept discouraging it and she told me to stay at uh, that job otherwise nobody would... Um, would hire me because the economy was bad and she was afraid that I wouldn't be able to hold down a job and if I tried to go back to the current job they probably wouldn't hire me back. So anyway um, I had out, uh, managed to outgrow the job coaches sometime in my uh, late 20s at age 29. I was able to prove that I could work on my own and I was able to I was able to uh, pay attention I was able to um, get the job done and um, all that jazz. And um, I also had managed to outgrow and break through um, the barrier of, again, going and uh, getting hired at that real estate office and I didn't have a job coach there. And uh, in fact, I was also able to report the other job coach uh, who said, you know, who said that the, the people at the top at uh, that warehouse were just kidding. and. Um, not only that, she had called me Miss Pris, you know, which I absolutely hated, and um, she also tried to make an excuse for absolutely everything, and then she just was um, really mean. So, but um, the point that I'm trying to make is that just because you seem to have a label, um, 
it's like, you know, uh, the economy is really, really bad right now. And, I mean, people are constantly telling you if you don't have a job and you have a label, you have a, quote, disability, you absolutely have to have a job coach to get you into a job. Again, I mean, it's great to have networks. It's not what you know. It's not what you know. It's who you know. And um, it should be that way anyway. Um, unfortunately, what I uh, have to disagree with is that um, a lot of these job coaches, you know, just uh, they're sloppy and they're lazy and they throw somebody uh, with a special needs into a job situation and a lot of times the jobs are low end and there are better and other opportunities there but um, the job coach seems to think, oh, they've got this disability and um, they go by the book and they believe, well, I don't think they'll be able to function in a regular job, so we're going to keep them bagging groceries or we're going to keep them mopping the floor and sweeping. Yes, that's fine, but um, I think that um, a lot of these employers um, who are supposed to be teaching people how to be a better um, employee and um, how to learn new skills, they're not doing anything. I mean, they're constantly looking for people with new, with current skills, but they don't want to teach. You know, it's it's always somebody else's responsibility and I feel like they don't want to work with any individuals with special needs like someone with me like someone with autism like me they want it to be the job coach's responsibility so they don't have to do anything so what I'm trying to do is prove that hey I'm just as able as anybody else to find a regular job even though the economy is really bad and I know that uh, someone's gonna like me no matter who I, no matter what I am or who I am I mean, Temple Grandin doesn't have a job coach uh, to help her write her books. She doesn't have a job coach to teach her cattle classes. I mean, there's, there are too many people that, uh, that want somebody else to be responsible for individuals with disabilities. And it just, it, um, it's really nerve-wracking. So, anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to state below. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and um, also be sure to check out my uh, link below which is um, from uh, uh, a blog talk radio. Um, I uh, try to talk on there every day about different issues that I have and, um, and some other things um, that are related to this blog. And then also be sure to like and share with your friends and family. And um, if you live here in the Atlanta area and you know of somebody that's hiring or if you are hiring and you're willing to teach me new skills, please be sure to contact me. Um, anyway, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Good night.